What do you think about the Cavs' loss? This Higher. is, look, this is what we've seen now from them throughout most of the season, and it's getting even worse here in March. Like, I keep looking at it every month. I go, where is this team defensively? And right now, they are the second worst team in the NBA on defense. And if you talk to people around the Cavs, it's, well, we're just going to flip that switch and we'll be fine. When I look at their individual defenders, Kyrie's never been a defensive player unless he's playing Curry. Uh, you know, Channing Fry's not great defensively. Korver certainly isn't. Some of the other pieces they've picked it up haven't fit in. And last night, Kerry, it was so remarkable how disinterested guys were. There was a one-on-one -on -one with Jokic on Love and another one where Jokic was going at LeBron, and they were playing him straight up, and everybody else was just sitting there watching. So they're either bored or they're just an awful defensive team. And, and I don't think many people think this will carry into the playoffs. It's just really bad look so far. Okay, so they're either bored or they're, they're just an awful team defensively. I, I don't necessarily buy into the latter. Let's talk about being bored. Why would they be bored now? I just think because they know how good they are and because of what the East hasn't really been. I mean, we've spent so many years now, especially with LeBron, with Miami and now Cleveland, where you go, they're not really challenged. But I would say that there's another little theory that I'm working on. I'm workshopping around the league with sources, is uh -huh. that when you rest your players, you're kind of saying none of this stuff really matters. Mm. So when you rest them and then you bring them back, and is there any part of this in the process where the actual players in regular season games are going, look, we're just shutting this thing down until we get into the playoffs anyway, and that's why we're seeing these statistics? Because their statistics in March are terrible. There's no way around it. They are a terrible defensive team right now. I just don't know if that's going to be once the first round starts. Okay, I have a question. No pun intended, but this cavalier attitude that you just yes. talked about that we're and, and seriously, I just I really want to talk about this for a second. I watched I was at the Clippers Lakers game the other day. Chris Paul had his son on the bench in the last four to three minutes of the game. Is that a sign of disrespect or disinterest? I'm bored, I don't care. What is that normal? No, I, didn't, I saw that and I was like, man, I love Chris Paul so much, but am I supposed to be really mad about this? And the thing is, is I, I, I can't get mad about it. It was. Um, I think it's just the next step. I mean, if kids have been going to press conferences for 10 plus years, and it's even better to, to, to have the kid out there as a shield if you've had a bad game, uh, you can just throw him up there and be like, look how cute my kid is. But in that case, I mean, he was, he's got the great hair going. So, yeah, yeah and you know, it's, not Chris, about, it's not about getting mad, though. It's about what are you, I, don't, I mean, the kid's adorable, but I'm saying, is it the attitude of, okay, we know what this means, we know what these games mean, this one doesn't necessarily matter. Let's pay attention and focus on the playoffs. That's what I'm asking. Yeah, the no close of this NBA him. season. You're yeah. right, you're right. Maybe I should have understood you a little yeah. bit better on that question. Yes, but, no um, problem. <laughs> no, I, I, I think you see, and the thing is, I was going through this with some teams last night, and you're going, hey, all you guys in ESPN are complaining about all the rest and shutting it down in some of the primetime games. Look at the way the schedule plays out, the back-to-backs. There's a bunch of back-to-backs, TNT, ESPN, with high-profile teams, and guess what? Those teams are still going to sit these guys. So this problem is only going to continue. So I don't know if that Chris Paul in that spot, I mean, maybe it is just a collective kind of let's just get to the playoffs because none of these games late matter. All right, we're, let's stay in the West and talk about the Warriors. KD, five in a row with no KD. When he comes back, does that change the dynamic of the team at all? It actually makes them better defensively. And that stretch post-KD, uh, post you could see that they had the brutal travel schedule. Okay, so we know that part of it. All of a sudden, Curry can't hit any shot, including every open shot. So you knew that wasn't going to continue. But Durant was an extra big defender in today's NBA. And he was so much better defensively, I think, this year than he'd been at any other point in his career. So we know the offense. We know what it means. Curry and him were getting along great in January as Curry became more aggressive and less of, an, uh, of a player that it was kind of deferring to Durant to make him feel more comfortable. Mm. So this stretch now is them hitting shots again. I think they hit basketball rock bottom, being down double digits to the Sixers at home. Where in that game, you could see Draymond Green saying, okay, enough of this. Let's start balling. And they totally took that over. They've been on a roll since. But Durant, as of right now, what I'm being told is that even though everybody's cautiously optimistic, we saw in the piece on ESPN.com, the plan is to have him ready to go with the three remaining home games in the regular season. So his first return is not actually in the playoffs. Okay, so his first return will not be in the playoffs, but you think it makes them better defensively, and they've already got the offense jumping, so they're locked to win it all? Yeah, I think if Durant is the Durant that we saw before the injury, they're winning this thing. Uh, yeah. because I've got to see more from Cleveland. Like, there's plenty of Cleveland people that will tell you none of this regular season defensive stuff matters, but okay. i got to see it, man, because it's been pretty yeah. bad. All right, that's fair, and I want to see you next time in a scoop neck and a short sleeve suit. Is that cool or no? Um, I'm not as tan as I normally am this time oh. of the year. So. You've, got, you, you've got your winter color going on. All right, then, maybe next time. Not